Hi guys, I'm so happy to see you here again. Uh, my name is Olga and I'm a lash extension artist from Siberia, from Russia, from Omsk city. And finally, finally, I did a video, I made a video. Uh, eyelash accession tutorial. So I made video how I do eyelash accession. Uh, I will tell you everything what I know and uh, about one hour you will watch my tutorial. I will explain my every move, every step. So I hope it will be interesting and uh, really i'm so happy that i made this video because for a long time i wanted to do this video i know you was waiting this video enjoy the watching this video and uh, thank you that you still with me so let's go so our model has usual oval eyes without any asymmetry usually if my clients want fox effect i don't paint anything on eyes just glue longer eyelashes uh, in other corner of eyes if you're afraid of making mistakes or you don't understand where you should glue longer eyelash i recommend you to paint point on open eyes uh, first point will be after hiding place uh, when eyelash line become going down. So after hardest place. And uh, second point, it will be in the middle of first point and uh, the end of eyes. Later, you can remove points by primer or any alcohol, it will be so easy. Before of eyelash accession, I always remove makeup. Even if Clyde doesn't have any makeup, she still has some uh, skin things uh, which we should wash by micellar water. So uh, I uh, a little bit lift the eyelid and clean. I do it hard and we see uh, some makeup things but our model have no uh, makeup after micellar water you should wash eyelashes by water it's so important and remember this and i also wash under the eyes so that the patches will stick much more better so now uh, we are going to stick the patch uh, for me the most important things is uh, isolate the lashes in the middle of the eyes and the inner corner outer corner we will isolate later by scotch and the glue far from eyeball remember this i have a video how to isolate down eyelash so i explain they are so good Patch is a foundation and we will uh, finish isolate with the closed eyes. I know that some artists do it on open eyes, but I think we should work with the closed eyes. Because if we isolate on open eyes and then she close, patch and everything will can move. So if we do eyelash accession on a closed eyes, isolate also should be on a closed eyes. Um, outer outer uh, corner i will isolate by japanese scotch you can buy it in aliexpress i think it's cost so cheap i like the scotch because it's so white and uh, by the scotch i can see the lashes so good so i i a little bit uh, leave the eyelid or you can do it much more high okay and glue uh, please don't glue uh, so close to eyeball uh, because your eyeball will be red and the uh, tea drop will go out. I have a video why eyes become red after procedure and I've explained this common mistake. So you can check, uh, you can lift eyelid and you see that scotch is far away. A uh, second piece of scotch will glue on inner eyelid. Actually, glue scotch isn't easy. You should have practice with your friends. Just isolate eyelashes. Uh, I spend a lot of time for this. But if you isolate eyelash great and comfortable for you and your client, it's 50% of success. Uh, 
When we glue eyelashes, sometimes uh, the lashes uh, stick on scotch. If lashes stick on Japanese scotch, peel off will be difficult. That's why I use uh, paper scotch, uh, because peel off uh, lashes will be much more easy. And uh, I just like paper scotch. Uh, using micro brush, I apply a primer to the eyelash. I put on the base of the eyelash. This is where we will have a glue. And uh, I also wash skin a little bit, but it's not necessary like this. Uh, make sure there is no excess, uh, because if the primer gets into the eyes, the client will be hurt and tears will come down. And uh, to avoid this, I wipe the excess on my finger. We marked two points, uh, so now I want to paint this on the patch. Uh, short length will be here, and long uh, begin on like left side. And uh, I retreat uh, three four millimeters for short length. Here, uh, so here we make long length M curl and. Uh, here we will do short C curl. Now eyelashes are touching the scotch and we need to raise a little bit by plastic scotch. Just a little. I still should be close. You know, sometimes I have a clients which can't uh, completely close their eyes, so it's dangerous uh, to lift eyelid. And just be careful and always check eyes. Uh, now we lift a little bit. If it won't enough, we can correct uh, later as we want. When a client is completely relaxed, we see another picture. Here we see the place which wants to raise for better background. And I want to uh, correct this by tweezer, like this, uh, with a scotch, paper scotch. So now I like my place for work much more better. I start from other corner. I glue eight millimeters M curl. In the future, I will call this eight uh, M. Uh, client won't see. Um, uh, this length because 10 M will close 8 M. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how I do indentation. Uh, good correct indentation is achieved with a long practice. Uh, my first uh, indentation uh, was very big, so now I glue short. Uh, this indentation is big, but not much. Uh, if you work with a short length of plastic eyelash, you can do big indentation. The load on the eyelash is not heavy and the eyelash will stand well. So how I change length, because now we finish work with 8M and now I'm going to glue 10M. Uh, outer corner you can change immediately. The client won't see difference, it's because of this place. So you just after 8M, glue 10M. I remember four or five years ago to do ciliary row was fashionable and relevant for artists, but for client it's not big deal. For me always were important work fast and I didn't care about ciliary row. And also when I endeavor hard to do ciliary row and spend power, the client didn't see anything any difference. So now clients want natural effect without ciliary roll, so I don't care about this. Okay, notice what I'm doing. I choose one lash and keep my tweezers on this lash. Same time I put fans on the glue and stick on natural lashes. Just put, don't shake these lashes. Just touch and that's all. Your glue, it's already worked. A uh, big indentation, it's uh, like this. Now you see. It's big indentation, but if you take short lash, it's okay. So here I glue 8M and it looks same with the 10M. But if you work with the long lashes like 11, 12 millimeters, it will be unreliable. Okay, keep going. Uh, again, I chose next lash, put on the glue, placed and released. Don't keep fans on your tweezer. Don't do it and don't move. 
don't do moving like this a hard fast is it nice for client and is it nice for eyelashes uh, which already ready because of glue stabilizate very bad so everything do quietly our hand always shake a little bit and uh, if we hold tweezer on lashes so our hand will shake with the lashes together and glue won't keep well on lashes so just uh, touch the nature lashes and wait three seconds wait for doesn't stick with the next lashes and that's all and do everything quietly uh, you see how I help by my fingers to choose uh, nature lashes and you also can lift a little bit upper eyelid by hands if nature lashes growing up on down line of eyelids but just a little don't leave don't lift so hard so our lashes look so good so nice uh-huh and keep going so um now i show you 3d fonts i like wide fonts uh, i think you already uh, saw how i do 2d fonts uh, why i like wide fonts uh, they good because they can close empty spaces um, if some lashes lose and the work will look so good after like three weeks and uh, this effect ke can keep for more longer for a long time uh, here lashes is too close to each other that's why I spread it too hard uh, you see how fast fun stick to natural lashes so I want to take off but I cannot because uh, the glue become dry so this fun is ready in my last video i told you that better to buy fast glue and you won't have a glue in so now i choose natural lash put lashes on glue stick to nature lash and fans is ready so fast don't need to wait if you take slow slower glue more than one second is very slowly and you will waste time for waiting when the glue will dry if uh, you use slowly glue you will uh, keep fans on tweezer so long but your hands always shaked with fans and your fan won't stick well even if you beginner you should start work with the uh, fast glue see i just touch and and uh, already stuck well right away your work will be faster uh, maybe first time you won't keep up with the glue stuck won't well and eyelash accession lose fast like one two weeks so you should do your moving faster too uh, later i show you how i work because i work uh, with another option uh, this I work for video and uh, with this option can work everybody so first you make funds and then you have a lot of time for looking nature uh, lashes but by one hands on the left hand and then just put funds on glue and stuck with nature lashes just one two seconds and that's all if you do funds three four d five d you should understand that uh, the big funds take a lot of glue so you should wait a little bit more uh, now I show you how I work and if you will work as me your work will be faster uh, first I make funds uh, then put on glue and straight away I choose and stack just one two second of course you have a practice this uh, because if you do this more than two second funds won't stack well and after three days these funds will lose you can't put funds on glue and then spend too much time for choosing lash like okay which last okay looking for uh, i cannot um, i cannot choose that's this is end that's all you you should start again this is, should be instant
This option for artists with a big practice, which won't work faster. Not to risk, just do how I do it now. It's 100% uh, of success. Uh, now already have funds and you keep it well. And you now you can spend one hour for choosing natural lashes. You can help to do it with a finger and stuck. So fast and so easy. So uh, now I see short lash. I work with the short lashes too, but I glue short length. Here we have a 10 M, but I choose 8 M. That lash is growing up so fast and after one, two weeks, it will same size like other lashes. If I glue 10 M, so after one week, it will bigger than our uh, other lashes and it won't look nice. But here, after one week, this ones will look same with the other lashes. I work individually with every lashes and my work look good after four weeks, especially if you won't earn uh, good money. It's not my way if my work now look perfect, but after two weeks it look bad. I understand that my client doesn't have too much time to visit me every week. Okay, we continue. And uh, I know that uh, somebody for choosing eyelash use two tweezer like this. Uh, this what I do with my finger. Another use second tweezer. This option is comfortable. Is comfortable and a little bit longer, but it's only for who work with a tablet or do uh, like this. No, it's the same like tablet, but on uh, down eyelid. Uh, choose lash, take from line, uh, maybe somebody can make funds from line, I, can, I can't, and stuck. For me, it's long, use two tweezers for one lash. I put here line, if I do 1D, volume, it's, I don't know how, in your country, in my country, it's classic volume, and it's good because everything is close and stuck yes it's good if i do uh, one d but if i do fans mm, not my way uh, so now i'm going to show you how i do eyelash accession fans how it's look like i'm bring two lashes and make fans in my hand i choose nature lash choose yeah here it's not good quality okay put on glue and stuck I had a question in comments, where do I put line? Uh, I put on my fingers, every fingers, uh, length I use now, I put on four fingers and other on middle and uh, ring fingers, then I change the line. In my technique, I always change the position of the tweezers in my left hand. It's automatic, I don't control it anymore, just five minutes to do it and you also can do it. Now I make fans, just like this, five minutes and you understand how, it's, how to do it. Okay, now I make fans, I can leave it like this, so I take in my hand, make fans, okay, and then change the position back and choose nature lash glue and stuck uh, for keeping eyelashes well i have some rules uh, first uh, they should be clean even if there is a little bit of makeup a lash wear time will be short uh, second Movements must be fast. Yes, I do smooth movements, but fast, especially the way from glue to natural lash. Uh, time when you choose lash can be any time, but from the glue, you remember, it should be fast. If I do uh, 2D, 3D, 5D volume, uh, I can put the eyelash fans a little bit un uh, unevenly and make the indent a little more. 
but time is a priority for me so no one will see it if you will do your indent a little bit more or your fonts a little bit uh, unevenly but our time is priority uh, you know the most important things in speed uh, is the speed of how you make fonts ideally when you take fonts from line your fonts should be already ready it is, you can just sit and practice this to understand how your uh, hands work with your tweezers so sometimes um, I practice at home just in front of TV I watch something and practice my fonts because I, every time I want to work more and more faster for me it's important yes just more practice this on eyelash that grow on uh, the lower lash line you can put short lashes because they are usually weak and sag even if they are long lashes it won't suck a down eyelash don't affect the overall length in eyelash accession we have a scheme a name arrow it's when the glue in uh, when we glue short length on a lower lash line movements must be precise when are you choosing lash you already have to know how and to which side you will stack the funds so here i show you that i uh, will stack in left side somebody stuck above there is no right and wrong as you see which will be better just glue everyone have different technique i like stuck side like natural lash become inside of fans so now i will glue 8m because here i choose a short lash and here will be situation when the two lash glow together so i will passed up never miss this situation because tomorrow your client will call you and say everything look nice but something uncomfortable what's what's wrong now i'm doing my method you can try do it with uh, that lashes which comfortable for work like fat black long even you know you don't need to choose them they already like look look to you here's short lash and i need more intention to choose and maybe more time and don't afraid to touch the face of client i use my ring finger uh, and touch nose like this you see if i don't touch anything my hands will shake so hard you see oh how i will glue so always touch the face last one of m curl i glue with my method i do a little slowly but i take a lot of glue so i have a time to glue well next i'm going to work with a c curl okay uh, if uh, they are 10 m so i will glue 10 c okay here i have a little glue but do you see how easy i separate from each other it's because of this method on different eyes changing curl will be different uh, usually i glue 10c and then i watch at the mirror uh, how it's look while eyes uh, close we can't see uh, and understand how eyelash accession will look on open eyes the mirror will help to me i see the 10 c shorter than 10 m but not much so we leave it uh, i recommend you to use timer or to have watch in front of you for remember uh, that you should change a glue i have a video about glue where i told you many information about this uh, so I glue few fans C curl and then I put one two fans of M curl for soft changing. Uh, and again, I want uh, to look in the mirror, 
and see that our lashes uh, look so good. We don't see a transition or steps like everything soft and our client won't see that we change curl or length. You know, sometimes we can see big difference like they're long, they're long and there is a short. So we, uh, we should change length, uh, length and glue like 11 seam, just glue one fat and then check again in the middle. Everything is depends of eyes. So just put one look and you like it or not. 10C is transition length and I won't work with the 9C. I mean I need this length in the middle of eye. So I just glue four pieces of fans, check the middle and then I will work with 9C. Uh, sometimes at the time when we form it fans we have a base like uh, this. You see it's good fans just when uh, we will put on the glue we do movements like this and uh, our fans became perfect. Just glue uh, it's okay when uh, you are choosing lash, you catch a uh, two or three lashes. Just be smooth and carefully glue on that lash which you want. Uh, next lashes uh, won't bother you. So it's okay. Uh, to make me work comfortable, I can slightly lift the eyelid. It's good when uh, on down line we have a short lash. I stick here, short fan stone. Very common mistake when artist makes work comfortable, lift the eyelid so hard and in the end of procedure client has a red eyes. Health of client more important than our comfort. With the tweezers, I move the finished eyelashes a little so that they don't interfere with me. Okay, touch and let go. This is rule of this video. So now I finish work uh, 10s and uh, I need to check with the mirror how it look like. Uh, it should be like single line. We see that everything is going good. Our lashes is so nice, so nature. And now we're going to glue uh, 8S. Uh, if you're a beginner, when you choose lash, you already have to know how you will stick, I mean to which side. Better start uh, practice this with 1D, I mean classic, and after when your technique is well, you can try do 2D, 3D volume. Oh, you see, um, I stuck fans very bad. It's okay, just don't leave this. You should take uh, off because this is defective. So now I showing you classic how I do 1D and I just stuck above of natural eyelash. If it's secure, it will be so easy. If you are not sure of quality, I mean how uh, firmly did you glue um, the eyelash, just do like this, like this uh, and you will see how good is your stick. If you stick fans poor quality, the eyelash would have already uh, peeled off. Uh, not all eyelash, just a part of this. Okay, a little bit more glue here. Now I want to uh, put fans on glue more deep. Like all basic of fans have a glue like one and a half of total length. If here nine millimeters, so uh, 4.5, uh, I have a glue. And we have another choice when we can put eyelash just a little, like uh, 0 0.5 millimeters, like point. This method uh, can be, but I don't like, and I can't, I can't. Oh, do you see <laughs> my stuck so bad? I love when I have too much glue on lash so here will be fail show you now uh, this is what i told you before check your stick if you are not sure of quality here we have a fail because i want to stick same fun second time it's wrong way uh, neighboring eyelashes stuck together so i must correct it uh -huh. 
and the eyelashes are tangled and I need to be returned to their place okay I start take more glue so I need more time to dry up my glue start work a little bit slowly because my air conditioner are working and the temperature is colder while my glue are uh, working slowly I should uh, move and touch eyelashes carefully uh, for doesn't stick neighboring eyelashes together I already off air conditioner and glue become normal if you think that better work with a high temperature it's also no way because I won't have enough time to keep fresh glue on fans from a uh, plastic holder glue to nature eyelash so now I'm checking that my eyelash uh, doesn't stick with the scotch a little bit a lift upper eyelid Ah, and now I take uh, another tweezer because I see that eyelash, uh, down eyelash stick with the upper eyelash so I need to separate them uh, from from uh, each other by, by tweezer. Now I want to close this dark place with a paper scotch to make my background much more better, more white for like I want to see uh, the lash more clear so I press a little bit I lead and lift but uh, I should be close forever we are working now with these eyes and glue still fresh so if you open the eye will burn stain and tears uh, notice that here we have thick eyelash growth and the hair have sparse that's why I will glue volume 4D and uh, to neighboring eyelash too. Look, I put 4D fun. I do it uh, for if tomorrow this eyelash lost, we won't have empty space. And next eyelash I will glue 3D. So last one. 3D it's okay it's enough and we move to left side a little bit uh -huh. and uh, we continue work with 2D volume and uh, learn to choose only with one tweezer any lashes you can choose with one tweezer and remember that you can help to you with a uh, ring finger the more glue you take, the more time you have to glue a lash. So uh, that's why I like to take a lot of glue because I can make mistake. I mean, I have time to correct my mistake. I can take all these uh, fans and glue again. So everything you can do if you have a lot of glue on your fans. Again, I want to show you how I do volume in my hand. So I take three lash and in my head I make volume a uh, more full video I have in my channel so here I have a, a lot of glue so I need more time uh, for that funds are sticking uh, well I mean you know when you have a lot of glue in your funds uh, your stick uh, will not instantly so you have a, a wait a little or uh, you can make uh, the weather in your studio more hot and actually you can practice to do with my method uh, because you have a lot of time uh, to stick straight uh, and you can do this when with big volume because you have a lot of glue or you can make uh, the temperature more low in your studio Okay, uh, look uh, how I put uh, lashes on glue. So make fans, choose the lash and put on glue deep and stick. The glue always stand uh, in the right side, uh, far from me and client. I told you that glue is toxic and uh, 
sh we should save our brief. I saw that some artists put glue on finger. Uh, it's called like ring plastic glue holder. It's so comfortable, yes, uh, but uh, it's uh, dangerous because glue too close to you. So I don't like this way. So again, put deep and stand. So now I show you what I do if I have uh, uh, too much glue uh, on um, on fans. Again, we choose the lash. Oh, okay, this one we have. You see, I have a lot of glue, so I just touch the scotch. And then I just move a little bit of natural lashes and stick. And it's already, you see, ready our fans. Okay, next one. Next one also have a lot of glue. Oh. Mm -hmm. And uh, here I didn't touch the scotch. I just, okay, see we have a big point of glue. So sometimes I, if I... Um, you know our fun stand straight i can just touch off side of tweezer and take um, some uh, uh, which glue enough but after you should clean a little bit your tweezer here i spend too much time for looking lash and my fans with the glue is defect okay i want to lift eyelid a little bit with the plastic scotch I do it so carefully because my uh, eyes of client should be always be close. How do I take much glue? I take fun from glue very high. If I will do it more slowly, I will take less glue. So you can try it and you will see the difference. Uh, one, one more moment. If you work with a big amount of glue, your fan can be closed. So you can put a side of tweezer in the middle of fan, like here, and count three. Uh, now I want to work with the inner corner of I. I mean, uh, I will put one fan inner corner and second fan uh, in the middle, and I will change. Okay, here we have uh, so many short lashes, so you should have uh, attention. While my glue uh, dries, I check the lashes, and uh, I won't do it in the end. So I check and I see that everything is good. If I have some glue in, I will, like, I will fix it. For example, uh, here we have glue in. So right hand I pull natural lashes and left hand I keep fans. And that's all. It's easy. Now uh, we work with the eight millimeters. So I glue one in inner corner. And second one, I will glue. I will glue here, and uh, we won't have a gluing because glue will have so many time to become dry. And now uh, my glue become capricious, and actually it's not a nice work with this tweezer in inner corner. So better to uh, to use this kind of tweezer. It's much more comfortable to work in the inner corner. But I will keep uh, doing <laughs> with my old one. Uh, my glue become better, so I keep doing one by one. Here the lashes is um, easy to choose. Long and nice. Uh, here we have a strong glue in and after separate, then the natural lash broken. Actually, it's so sad and bad for me. So when I work uh, with the inner corner, I go from right to left. It's handy here, but you can do it only with inner corner. Then if you work with the left eye like me now, you should go from left to right. Uh, because uh, eyelash direction won't same like on right eyes and all lashes will direction on right side and uh, will we have um, more oval effect than fox okay uh, here the eyelash is small and thin that's why i work with my method 
uh, because the glue dries slowly. And uh, my goal actually with every lashes is uh, when glue completely cover both plastic and natural lashes. It's so important. Okay, so I, now I just work more uh, uh, faster and uh, the more smaller length uh, with which I work is seven millimeters because I make fans in hand and it's too difficult to make smaller. So yes, I can work with five, six millimeters, but it's too difficult to, uh, to make fans. So it's okay for commercial uh, work. Uh, if you make fans from line, so better use five, six millimeters. And uh, when I work um, uh, 0 0.10, uh, some millimeters look a little bit heavy. So better really take um, in inner corner maybe uh, 0 0.07 or more slowly length. I took off the scotch because my model said that she had uncomfortable tanning. So now our lashes touch the patch and its work become more harder. Okay, uh, you see here the direction to right side. So we need change this. Try glue lashes not uh, straight, a little bit. Uh, your fans uh, should look a little bit to the left side. And uh, when you will touch these fans by your head right hand to continue the work in the end it will look straight it's difficult to choose a lash because uh, here place where lash is short and it's too close to each other it's too important don't spend too much time for this i know that we go one by one but here better choose good big and comfortable lash uh, choose nature lash easier between fans or fake lashes, plastic lashes, than between natural lashes. Uh, because I took off plastic scotch, the lashes lay on patch. So I helped to me by tweezer. Uh, I glue fans and do moving up. Uh, it's I do for dozen stick lash and, and patch together. I up only lash, not eyelid, so be attention about this. I do these moves only when I work with lashes which grows on downline. If I work with upper eyelash, I just stick and that's all, we don't have any problem. So you, you don't need to do any moves. Okay, one more moment. It's when I work with downline, I glue a lash from above or side, but I will never glue from below because if I will glue below, my lashes will sag and become more heavier. In my tweezer, I have uh, two eyelash. Uh, it's okay, just carefully glue to the right side of right lash or above. And be sure that a uh, neighboring lash doesn't stick to each other. How to understand to which side glue lash? Just your practice and how you feel. I can't say like this is only way right. If you glue every lashes below and it look good, just keep doing it. If you are a beginner, my advice to you to use C curl. It doesn't matter if you glue lashes straight or not, in total the lash accession will look good. And then you can try D curl. Only when your lash accession in D curl look perfect, you can try work with M and L curl. It's difficult. It's difficult work with them, especially volume. So that's why I told you uh, start with C and then D and then M. Please don't spread your alarm so much. Sorry that I changed the topic so fast. Suddenly, I just want to tell you everything what I know. Okay. Uh, I just want to tell you one thing. The less you push them apart, the smoother your lash accession will look. And la lashes uh, where the glue has not yet completely dried won't stick together. 
okay here I glue the fans and I feel this eyelash for other so it's not to interfere okay uh, I remind you we glue from left uh, 9c from right uh, 8c so now we have a place where we will mix so I glue on uh, long lashes 9c here we have a short lash I glue here uh, 7c because the lash is too short okay we have just not too much lashes okay we glue <laughs> I have nothing to say here just you see that uh, I don't open so much the lashes so my lashes keep straight uh, because of I take off plastic scotch it's difficult for me to uh, to get to the base so if uh, difficult for you and for me for example now uh, I just can uh, uh, can indent more but then the length of the eyelash will be shorter it's okay probably uh, I can work here without scotch so I need just a little lift up I will glue uh, our last length it's seven millimeters uh, now my clients don't want to do a lash accession on last three lashes because usually these lashes are thin and weak and sack sometimes even roll and hit the eyes so if you see some really thin lashes better miss this or client will suffer the most difficult place on eyes is inner corner this is a place where there are a lot of small eyelash and they uh, constantly stick to each other and I think uh, here is a work from right to left but be careful about uh, direction so if you see really small eyelash please just miss this for me better glue more eyelashes on outer corner or in the middle because our main focus is on this place I know that some artists start a lash accession from inner corner and they do this place perfect spend much time and energy to that place but in total after three weeks we have a lot of lashes on inner corner and no one lashes in other place uh, this is me exaggerating uh, this is place exception because here empty place where grow small lashes we will work with every lashes and uh, about my last rule uh, it, this rule work only if we have a choice but here we don't have so if we have a two small lashes we will work with them uh, we can't we can't uh, save this place empty okay I can't choose now because they so uncomfortable so I will work with good lashes because do you remember better choose between plastic lashes than natural uh, look from right side I have a two small eyelashes that's why I glue fans from left side if you glue from right side great chance that your fans and two small lashes will stick together or I can do here big volume here I want to do 3d and I can miss one small lash and this lash will keep growing for the next time okay I made gluing here it's so easy to do it here because so many small lashes okay I just uh, carefully keep natural lash by right hand and the fans by left and separate on this small lash I have a great option you can glue 1d 7 millimeter it's so good way we do it uh, we do it this so that this eyelash doesn't interfere with us and we can see it well so I keep glue 1D to every small lash they are very light 
I change a tweezer for me better use this one on this place. I take a lot of glue because I need more time for stick. I'm trying to do everything faster because really this is place so difficult for me. Okay, here I glue one D. Uh, this is so uh, one method how to do two D volume. I just glue one and the, and later I glue second one. So I don't make fans uh, before like on online or in my head. I just you see stick like the same lash. So in total we have a two D. I'm hurry because I do it already one half hour and I won't finish faster. It's not good. Keep calm, Olga. Just few lashes and that's all. I put same fun second time on glue. Something going wrong with my mind. Don't do like this. But in total, it's okay if you do it faster and in your funds not too much glue, uh, like dry glue. Okay, it's it's not good. We just. Uh, put on trash your bad fans and make one more time clean beautiful and better okay here I again I glue one D because small lash I have a big glue in with uh, a lot of fans it's fail but not not it's not fail yes it's not clean work but the most important if you find this glue in and you separate this you fix it it's the most important then you just miss it it's oh it's okay it's okay no it's not okay you 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 should uh, fix it because um, uh, for your client it will be uncomfortable work with uh, gluing she will feel it that something wrong in your lashes again one d <laughs> i finish explain my work i'm just passing you know like look what I do and uh, I'm in shock a little bit okay look what's happened here I thought that it's natural lash but it's already 1d so that's why uh, it doesn't glue because you know when you glue on plastic uh, you have um, uh, you have more time for like they stick together okay keep working we're almost finished one d and now something interesting will happen what's happened okay i take here not too much glue and it's already dry because i spent too much time for gluing and i again choose the lash and i made new funds and now it's okay that's all finish so after a lash extension, we should uh, check. Uh, we're looking for gluing. If we have, we we should separate this. Uh, left side we already checked before. So now I'm looking for something what stick together. Uh, your gluing should separate easy. So it can be, but you you should separate easy. If it's too hard, so um, so maybe you put too much glue and uh, you didn't have much time for uh, dry mm -hmm. brushing. And then now we take off plastic scotch carefully. Be careful about skin of your client check we take a mirror uh, i do it if um, our lashes stick with a scotch so i just need a little bit like touch the lashes and uh, everything will be good so i do you see this moves second one carefully okay and now so difficult moment we need to uh, take off uh, paper scotch, uh, but before we should uh, be sure uh, that our lashes doesn't stick with the paper scotch. Okay, my lashes doesn't stick and I take first paper scotch. And you see, I won't take off and second one also going. And I can go, I, I cannot continue. 
You know why? Because uh, down eyelash in the middle of our scotch. So, and my model now have pain. I back this scotch. Take back. Oh, it looks so <laughs> not nice. And uh, maybe if my uh, client will see this, they will not come to my procedure. So we should take off this one by one, not together, only carefully one by one. Okay, first one take off. Now we take second one. Better take from in the middle and to the right side or left side. And okay, pepper scotch, it's easy to take off, but about Japanese scotch, it's um, I always have uh, problems because this scotch it's so strong, and you see how difficult to take off from patch. And you should be carefully about last one uh, Japanese scotch because we have a lot of uh, down eyelash. Uh, in the middle of patch and Japanese scotch and we cannot take off scotch together with patch so we should first take off the Japanese scotch better to take from in the middle not from side like I do it one second before like this uh, oh my god it looks so bad always hold the patch when you remove the scotch it's so important so now we're going to check our glue in between down lash and upper lash and you should say to your client please keep your eyes closed because you see I try to open but I don't need to do it uh, because if she will relax I open her eyes and her eyes will thin so she just uh, keep her eyes closed okay I see some gluing uh, I glue one one D to down eyelash so I need take off this lash how I will do how I will do I have uh, indent so I should find this indent one tweezer I take the eyelash and the second one I found the indent indent it's our natural lash so I just take natural lash indent and uh, plastic and just do these moves it should be easy Mm -hmm. here uh, we have situation always like this and here we, we just should have practice. It's only um, my f my faults, my fails. I don't know how to say that what has happened, but uh, our eyelash accession only in one eyes was going two hours. So of course my model uh, moves and uh, so I don't know what to say. It's just my and uh, I have one more gluing uh, down eyelash stick with upper eyelash and uh, I need uh, and uh, I need to take off actually I don't see what's happened here but uh, maybe I take by one tweezer down lash and second tweezer I take upper lash and like I push to each other and check that's all that's all so our brushing and now we will see our eyelash accession